hits my heart so deep. Wanna wrap my arms around you, cause you sweep me off my feet. Girl, you know that there ain't nobody moving like you. You know you got me. I love the things you do. Me, I'm getting into trouble, but I just wanna be your lover. Cause you're making me feel. my PYTs. Welcome back to your girl's channel. I am Punch Bree PYT. You know me. If you don't know me, welcome to Punch Another Games. I hope you enjoy the show. Make sure you subscribe, like, and leave me a lovely comment down below. We are back with Growing Up Prince, y'all. I'm so ready. Like I said in my last episode, I am totally in love with this little family and the way that it's growing and expanding. I have so much to do. So first and foremost, shout out to my subscribers and my new subscribers, y'all. We are on the road to 500 subscribers. I need quite a few left. I mean, it's not a lot, but it's a lot, right? <laughs> so do your girl a favor. Hit that subscribe button. It is free, single, sexy, and free, okay? It does not charge you. I will not bill you, all right? And hit that notification bell. You'll just get like, you know, a cute little, you know, ding. When sis updates, that's all. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, hit the subscribe button for your girl. I ain't gonna beg. I'm just saying, hello, thanks. All right, moving on. <laughs> okay, but today, y'all, we are going to get uncle and auntie in a conversation. Auntie's gonna change her gang around because now that her brother's in town, she wants him to be part of her gang because, of course, it's her brother and she trusts him. You know what I'm saying? And also, uncle has to find a place to stay because he's like, you know what? Sleeping in these sleeping bags on his hard ass floor is for the birds. Like, I can't live like that. <laughs> like, I need my own bathroom, bro. <laughs> so we're going to help him find somewhere to stay. And then Prince is going to go and have a really deep conversation with his grandmother. Now, I'm not necessarily doing these in order. So, you know, we'll, we'll see. Um, but Prince is going to go have a conversation with his grandmother about his mother, okay? I think it is time that Prince starts to explore a few things with his mom. He's, you know, he's, he's in his teenage years and, you know, just ignoring the fact that he has a mother is not working anymore. Him and his dad are in a terrible place. Child, if you didn't see that, go back and watch the last episode because they was going at it for no reason. And no matter what I did, all they was doing was fighting each other. And so, you know, hey, who am I to disturb Sim's destiny, right? <laughs> so they are still at odds. And so Prince is like, you know, feeling like he wants to, you know, find his other half right so we'll have him go over there and talk to his lovely grandma at her house and i'll have a little conversation all right y'all so i'm not gonna do no long introduction we're gonna jump straight into this gameplay because we have a lot to do oh also i will not be following prince to school much let me tell you why it's because the high school mods that i was using that gave me um more students and more interesting classes and some other stuff are not updated to this new for rent update and they were not working i could not travel to the school and when i travel manually when they get there it was not counted that they were even at school and nobody was doing school stuff they were all just walking around chilling like they was at the mall 
Okay. Which actually turned out to be a fun day for Prince, but he got an F. So yeah. All right. <laughs> so um, we will probably not be traveling with school. And if you know of any other mods, I have searched the web, but you know, I ain't perfect. So I'm sure I overlooked some things. But if you know of any mods that do some of that stuff that are updated, please leave your girl a comment down in the in the section down there, guy. Okay? Hook me up. I I'm desperate. All right. Because I went to school and it was four people there and three of them came from this household. I'm just saying. You know how boring that was, right? It wasn't no kids. It was, it was, you know, it was, I mean, we split up in classes, like two in one class, two in another. I almost died of boredom, all right? I fast forwarded through the whole thing because, you know, whatever. And then other kids started to show up, but they weren't in school. They just was walking around chilling. So, you know, we smoked some weed and, you know, hung out. But I'm just saying, like, all right, I'm done. Okay, moving forward. Let's jump into this gameplay. <laughs> before I get started child <laughs> all right so we're at Prince's house and Daryl is awake um let's see Daryl's gonna go to work let me see what's wrong with him he, he been in some spirits him and Prince have just not been you know collaborating <laughs> they, they just yeah so it says friend balance crashing for Daryl. There really is a sweet spot when it comes to friendship. Too few is bad. Too many also is bad. This is getting out of hand. Daryl really needs to figure out who he does. Wait a minute. Figure out who he does and doesn't need in his life. Woo. Okay. <clears throat> I hope that ain't directed towards Prince because, sir, don't play with me. Like... That's your son, and I love him so much. Like, he's mine, and if you talk about you don't need him in your life, don't think I won't run you out in the middle of traffic. I'm just saying. Well, talk your shit to yourself. Was he talking to me? Do y'all seem to do that? Like, when y'all be talking trash to yourself, it seem like they call back to you? It's a little unnerving. All right, so I'm gonna let him have his morning smoke. I do not know why I'm being choppy right now. But it's really finna mess with my soul. All right, let me let brother. So the brother, I'm gonna get him. I'm gonna let him finish his sleep out. But the kids don't have much time, so I need to wake them up and get them going for school. And this is why the brother's like, okay, I've got to find me somewhere to stay because this one bathroom situation, five people, baby, that ain't no fun. Ain't nobody trying to live like that. All right, so, all right, Prince is up. He's gonna brush his teeth. He's gonna get him a snack. He got 10 minutes. Um, They gonna have to eat at school. Uh-oh. Oop, sis got cramps. Wait, did I send her to get some pads? I did. Okay, great. I couldn't remember. So let me unpack these real quick because, you know, if you don't have them unpacked and unwrapped, they won't use them. And then she'll come home, you know, stinking doll be damned. And I ain't got time for that. All right. Let me get dad to come in here and brush his teeth. Um, dang. Y'all about to eat at school. That's kind of what my mom used to tell me too. You wake up like you want to eat at school. What you mean cook together with? Did I do that? Bruh, I'm not trying to cook. I'm trying to brush my teeth. Oh, now he going to work with his stink breath. Ah! Okay, so my time basically just got away from me like super duper quick. All right, cousin, wake up. Jacobian, time for school. Y'all get out of my house. I got grown up things to do. Brush your teeth in the bathroom at school, all right? Don't be speaking to folks with your dragon in the morning, all right? Have a good day. Hey, girl. Get you some, get, get, brush your teeth in the bathroom, all right? Okay, so they're out of the house. Great. So it's just Unk now. So I'ma let Unk come in here and let him get ready. Why is my game so choppy? Like, I've been on the game all day and it wasn't like this. And it makes me so mad that the moment I hit record, then it wanna start acting like, you know, it was built in 2000. So frustrating. Wow, he pees standing up. My Sims hardly ever pees standing up. And I be wanting them too. Because, I mean, I be wanting variety, you know. <laughs> All 
All right, so let me get him get some food. I hope we got leftovers because I don't think he can cook all that good because in the last episode, he tried to cook that brisket, honey, and he wasn't hitting on nothing. Who made this? Princess been in here trying to cook, y'all, but sis be trying. She's not the best cook, but she tries, and that's all that matters. Um, group project, Jacoby, I hate it. Let me tell y'all something. I hate a group project, okay? I hate a group project because somebody always don't want to do their work and moving in, moving on. Anyway, anyway, moving on forward. This ain't about me. So about Jacobian. Jacobian latest classroom assignment is a group project. <laughs> His group mates are all pretty smart. Should he try to contribute as much as they do or just let them do the work? See, Jacobian is the dude I'm talking about. That's that dude. Try to contribute. Yes, he performance gain. The project benefits from having everyone's input. It's a standout success, and the teacher gives Jacobian and his teammates equally high grades. See, that's what I was talking about right there. Who's calling? Say what? When answering a question, princess used forbidden words. It really shocked the teacher. Ooh, princess. Oh no, punish away. Wait, that's my only option? That should not be my only option. I want to know what she said and why. It might have been appropriate. I'm just saying. <laughs> These Oreos right here, though. I'm going to put y'all on pause and go get me like three of them. I ain't lying. Oreos are like... I don't know. They're like demon cookies or something. I shouldn't say that. <laughs> and I admit that in a good way, even though I used to wear a demon, because they possess you. Like, they be all up in your system. All right, clean that plate up. And now we're going to go over to Auntie's house. And, ooh, we got bills. All right, so we're going to go visit the Parkinson's. <laughs> Why they got their name spelled like that? <laughs> it's just the parks. Why is it the Parkinson's? Okay, invite seven. No, I don't need to invite anybody. I'm just going to visit my sister. Like, <clears throat> that other lady y'all saw is Prince's mom, though. So not in this episode, but probably the next episode, we're going to have Prince. We're going to find out a way to get Prince to meet his mom. All right, let's knock on the door. So all these new little options that came with for rent break in, eavesdrop, child. Can you imagine he broke in his sister's house? He would catch a hot one. Okay, but look, look, she walked, see what I'm saying? She, she come out of nowhere. Her husband don't work? Like, oh, he work nights, I forgot. So, let me, okay, can can, can y'all acknowledge that I'm in the house? Like, please don't start knocking up the boots while I'm here. Let's just do a small talk. Let's ask her how her day doing. <laughs> Did he, where are you going? Why do you have to go out in the snow to say hello? You got all this space. Come over here and catch one of these squares. It's cold outside. Why would you do that? He like, oh, sis, your house be clean. That I'm up. He was like, you don't be that clean across the way. Like, Prince be cleaning, but his daddy don't do shit. <laughs> so, so wrong. The brother like, hey, I'm trying to talk some business here and I don't really want to talk that in front of your husband you know what I'm saying because he a he, he whack <laughs> what, what's happening here and he's like hey you in my house you know what I'm saying like you want to talk to my wife you can talk to me and he's like yeah I hear what you're saying anyway sis so uh <laughs> bruh why y'all holding that clay like it's a plate Oh my God, it's the awkward romantic interactions. So I'm gonna manage her crew and somebody getting kicked out the gang and I'm gonna add the brother. So who are my enforcers? All right, Paolo, Paco, and Marcel Price. All right, I'm getting rid of Marcel because we have the least friendship. All right, so let's do enforcers. Let's hire an enforcer and we're gonna hire our brother. There we go. And Whenever 
if we get to a point where we get like a right hand man we're gonna make our brother our right hand all right so we got them settled um i do want to send him on a mission or at least send one of our other gang members on a mission but first i need to get Ankh a place to stay so i'm gonna have him travel to a couple places that i have in mind and i'm gonna let him take his sister wouldn't that be cute or his mom well him and his mom don't have a, they cool him and his mom cool but his mom doesn't like we do and this is this is prince's mom y'all by the way mm -hmm. y'all will see her soon anyway um yeah i'm gonna let him take his sister because him and his sister have a good relationship and we're gonna go look at some apartments for him to move into and we're gonna see if we like the way they look and if we do then we out of here period point blank all right let's go here first we're just gonna go to the light so we can see what the apartment looks like on the outside because the inside of this one i actually got this one off of the gallery i'll put the um creator on the screen but um i'm gonna revamp the apartment if he you know likes it because he needs something special all right so this is the first complex that we're looking at all right very nice 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 really tall what they got over here little hangout game section got a little booth auntie where you going sis auntie say i'm gonna go skate you go ahead boo <laughs> auntie we need your opinion all right they got a basketball court little hangout area all righty all right, so a little play area and a little food. I love the little food um, vendors. They're not open, but that's convenient. So if you're hungry. All right, so that one's cute. And I like the area. I like the neighborhood, darling. Yes, darling. We like it. We like it. All right, let's try this one. Let's travel over here. Auntie already on that side of the, of the neighborhood, so she'll just meet us <laughs> she not even trying <laughs> and look my sims literally don't listen to me and i think everybody that has watched me for a little while knows that i have no really really no control over them girl take that bag off your head i can't stand that like that get on my last fourth of a nerve like whose idea moving forward okay so this is the next apartment Okay, I believe the one in the middle, I built this one. I think the one in the middle here is the one that has two bedrooms. So that would be the one he would have to get because the other ones only have two and he got too many children. All right, and it's a little back patio. I have not finished the other ones because they don't have tenants, so who cares? Um, I actually like this one. I think I'm gonna go with the one I built because I don't have to redecorate on the inside. <laughs> I don't have to do anything. You can just move in, darling. Um, yeah, nice neighborhood too. Okay, okay. All right, we're. I think I'm gonna get this one for him. All right, so let's go home. We're gonna go home, and then I'm gonna get Ankh to move out, y'all. I'm so nervous because, you know, I'm a control freak. For those who don't know, and. When a sim leaves the house and they are completely out of my control, it makes me nervous because my sims, again, don't listen, right? So y'all just gonna leave me out here in the snow by myself? Hello? What? Pardon? Anyway, my sims don't listen. So if I move them out of the house, next time I go in, they be married, pregnant, um, got somebody else living in the house, you know, hooked on hooked on Coca Cola. You know what I'm saying? Like, I I can't. <laughs> so I'm nervous to send him out because I I just don't want him to do anything I haven't planned for him to do yet. Okay. All right. So, sis, come get your husband. Come get your husband. Thanks for going and doing nothing. We appreciate it. Oh Lord, here they go. 
the romance is real. You know, when you can stand outside with your midriff out and like 20 degree weather because you want to slow dance with your man, that's that's that Mary J. Real love. Girl. <laughs> Auntie said, um, no. <laughs> Auntie, how you just gonna, boo, hello? How you just gonna disappear into thin air like that and leave that man dancing with a cloud? That's so rude. Incoming call, it's the principal. What does the principal want? We went to school. Don't call here with no stuff. Oh, Lord, they finna die. Wait, come on, let me get my baby some food. Um, open. What are we gonna eat here? Just eat some turkey dinner. Um, come on in, sis. So, you mean y'all went to school all day and didn't get a bag of chips or a piece of a piece of candy or nothing? Why? Why do you want to subject yourself to starving? Prince, get your food and eat before somebody die. Thank you. Get out of my way. She's about to drop dead. Seriously. Um, what is this? Bread. I need some already cooked. Here, eat these hot wings. Jacobian, did you eat at school? No. Oh my God, that's who you was thinking about inviting? Why you so obsessed with me? This girl's a stalker. Like, again, if you haven't seen the last episode, go check that out. She's a freaking stalker. I'm not even kidding. Now he got her up in our living room. This is why y'all got to go. My daddy don't like stalkers in the house. I'm gonna let him watch a little TV right quick, get his fun up, and then Prince is gonna go visit his grandmother. Dad, quit talking to her. She's a stalker. Send her home. Her boots are oversized. Go away. Bye. Prince's last year in high school is an important year. The academic aptitude test can help us him determine what university programs might be the right fit. Princess should take, did I say Prince at first? It doesn't matter. Princess should take the academic aptitude test by using the phone or computer under work or career. Completing the aptitude test will grant school progress. Prince's last year in high school is an important year. The academic, I'm not gonna read again, I'm just playing. <laughs> All right, Jacobian's last year in high school can be an important <laughs> Okay. Okay, so we'll do that. We'll do that. We'll take our test. Dad is home. He needs a cigarette. He's talking to his mother. I don't see her though. What, Grandma? I don't see Grandma. All right, let me let him get him a little quick smoke before his mom get him. Fun. Okay, Prince Fun is doing good. Okay, so let's go visit Grandma. Home. I thought she was coming by because I saw her in Dad's panel, but apparently not. Unprepared. How could dare slip like this? First, it's just a simple test. Second, he might end up failing at important things like his occupation or skills. Oh, he had a terrible day. Embarrassed at work. Sometimes a person can't help but make a fool of themselves in front of all their coworkers. Dara, you've been going through. I feel so bad for you. Your son hates you. Your job is not fulfilling. You're not preparing for it. All right, let's 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 travel alone. Thank you, darling. We have arrived. Uh, let me show y'all grandma's house, honey. Okay. By the way, this house is based on the house I actually grew up in. Okay. It looks like this. All right. So anyway, this is grandma's house. And my grandma used to have it just like this with all her plants and everything, child. And everything had to be in a certain place. Okay. If she watching, she know I'm telling the truth. <laughs> all right. So, um, let's knock on the door. So let me show you the inside very quickly. I gotta put some pictures up now. Alrighty. Grandma's dining room. Her little living area. As you can see, Grandma is bad and bougie. Okay, all right. Yes, 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 yes. She plays with none of them, all right? Um, and here is her kitchen. Looks just like my mama kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> this is her kitchen um, and then there is her hallway her a bath a room where is grandma at I love the fact that he can go in this is grandma's bedroom I love the fact that he can just go into his grandma's room doll and I mean his grandma's house that's so cute so this is grandma's little slow sewing area, y'all, because grandma be in here doing the thing, okay? She sells clothes and sews them and sells them. 
she is working on her a little boutique darling all right and then this is a extra bedroom which is kind of like prince's room when he comes to visit right cool and when i was building this house i said to myself self why didn't you put the uncle and his children here in that whole bedroom by themselves? And I thought, because he's in criminal activity and his mama don't want him doing that mess under her roof. Period. And the point's blank. Okay. All right. Let me bring, I'm going to bring auntie here because I just need to like let her free. Let me undo your handcuffs, sis. Be free. Okay. All right. So <laughs> Prince has come to see his auntie. I mean, Prince has come to see his grandma, and grandma's not even at home. She better not be with no man, okay? Let me see if he can call his grandma. Grandma, it's cold outside, girl. What you trying to do? Prince, get out the door. Okay. So he's like, hey, grandma, you look gorgeous. And she's like, I know. Let me light this fireplace. It's cold up in here, baby. <laughs> Prince needs an appointment for the optometrist. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Grandma, can we talk to you for a second? Like, I know you want to watch TV and stuff. Okay. But it was a TV in there with me, but cool. Okay, can we can we talk right quick, though? Like, I want to ask you something. Ooh, kill Bill. <laughs> All right. Sit right there next to Grandma. All right. So, Prince, we're going to... Uh, Grandma, you sick? She's like, yeah, child, I caught a cold. And he's like, I'm sorry, Grandma. He's like, let me compliment your outfit. Your outfit is so pretty, though, Grandma. She's like, thank you, sweetheart. You're so kind. You was kind. You was smart. You was important. All right, so I want him to... We're not going to work today. <laughs> Let's... <laughs> Let's discuss her health real quick. Um, what does it say? Calling sick. Yeah, we're not going to work today. We busy. We got family problems here. Grandma, what's wrong? Your plant died? Girl, put that thing down. That ain't true. All right, so I'm going to see if he can ask about his mother. So let's ask grandma about my, our, our mom. Why are we standing outside? He's asking his grandma about her. Like, um, so, like, do you have, like, know where she lives? Or, like, when was the last thing you heard? And grandma's like, I haven't had the pleasure of meeting Crystal. <laughs> Not grandma giving him the Mariah Carey, I don't know her. <laughs> He's like, no, my mom. <laughs> Oh, I don't know her. The hell for that walked off and left you like you was like you was like a little small Walmart sized bag of trash. I don't know her. Okay. And he's like, um, well, I kind of want to go see her, Grandma. I want to go meet her. She like, why? What you need to meet her for? And he's like, I thought you ain't know her. <laughs> and she's like, I don't. But why do you want to meet her? <laughs> And he's like, because grandma, you know what I'm saying? I'm getting older and I don't know who I am. And I just want to meet her. Like, I, I just want to know who she is. Like, what she look like and all of this type of stuff. So his grandma like, child, I'm finna go watch TV. I ain't got time for this. <laughs> grandma, wait. <laughs> grandma, wait. So... He's also wanted to talk to his grandma about a little business. Okay, y'all, so I have this thing where I want Prince to like start making him some real money because he has a little job being a streamer, but they only pay my boy $40 for each time he goes to work. He can't do that with no $40, like what? What are you talking about? So I want to get him like a little food stand. Um, I think there's one that looked like a little hot dog stand and then it's like the bigger one. Um, it depends on which one is the cheaper, but I want to get him one of those. And I'm, and since he can cook, okay, yes, my boy can cook. All right, girls, bag back. All right, <laughs> he's gonna make like some little food and stuff, you know. 
and sell them for like a little, you know, like a little hustle or whatever. So I wanna see if grandma would possibly give him like a little loan, okay? So he's gonna butter grandma up a little bit. You are my favorite grandma. She's his only grandma that he knows, by the way. But you are my favorite grandma. Don't tell nobody. But nobody compares to you. She's like, oh, that's my sweet baby. You my favorite too. And he's like, oh, grandma, thanks. All right. And then he's going to give her a family kiss. You know how kids do with their grandma. They know what to do. And then, you know, I don't know if I even still have the option to ask for a loan because I don't remember. I think I had a mod that made it like more realistic or something at some point. But, uh, oh, look at her teasing him. He like, that was a good one, Grandma. That was a good one. Can I hold like a grand? And she like, what? <laughs> I want to open up a food stand, Grandma. I want to be an entrepreneur. And she's like, that's my baby. Mm -hmm. That's my baby. She's like, all right, I'll go to the bank tomorrow and I will give you a little something, something so you can start your little business. And he like, for real? She's like, yeah. Don't tell your daddy, though, because I don't want to hit his damn mouth. And he's like, oh, Grandma, thank you. You the best. Hug. You the best. And she's like, and how's y'all relationship going? It's trash. So I'm going to stay here tonight. Do you mind? Nah, baby, you can stay here. All right. Thanks, Grandma. I'm finna go pee. <laughs> All right. I'm going to control her for just a second because I'm going to get her to come in here and cook some food really quick, even though it's like 11 o'clock at night. But, you know, who cares? She has to make her baby something. So let's make him a little soul food for tonight. Um... We're going to make our brew. Mm. Let's make him some fried green tomatoes. That's cute. And delicious. And he... Let's use the bathroom. Oh, you know what? I should have just did the little stay over thing, huh? I be forgetting about that, y'all. I don't think... Let me see if she going to get mad if he take a shower. Don't come in here with no mess. Okay, she ain't saying that. Okay, just making sure. Just making sure, you know. <laughs> <laughs> oh how cute we at grandma house now let's come in here and get spoiled with these fried green tomatoes grandma let me see yes 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 she like you want some of this louisiana tartar sauce baby he like no ma'am she like well you can get some you know you dip them tomatoes in there child to be off the chain he like grandma they don't say off the chain no more i said Cause that's what I likes to say. I still say it too. Tells my age, but who cares? Sue me, okay? He like, oh, grandma, these delicious. She like, I know, baby. Can't nobody cook like grandma. You know that. And get you one of these little Christmas tree cakes too. And you know it's Christmas next week. He like, yes, ma'am. I'm like, yeah. Get you one of these little little debbies. Little debbies. All right. So he's gonna clean up the plates because he's a good child. Prince, why you got them glasses on in the house? Who you trying to be? I hate this thing too. I need a mod for that. Winter break, yes. We are out of school. <laughs> why did I take that personal? <laughs> I'm not out of school, God <laughs> It's break time. Prince school is out for winter break unless higher, excuse me, unless Heiser parents want to keep them in school for the winter session. Um, we're starting to break because Prince dad ain't trying to make him no more, make him hate him no more than he already do. All right. So grandma like, all right, baby, I'm going to bed. It's 1230. I ain't sleepy, but I'm going to bed. And he like, all right, grandma, good night. I clean up the food, put away leftovers. Look how cozy grandma's house is, y'all, with the fire blaze on. All right. So let's go to sleep. Come on down. Oh, this is so cute, y'all. Him and his grandma bonding. He's staying at her house because he can't stand his deity. Uncle finna move out tomorrow. All right, so I'm gonna let them finish getting their sleep out. I'm heading back to the other house. All right, we have made it back to 
Prince's residence. Unk sitting out here getting him a little smoke. So he does have some money in his bank account. Um, I'm going to move that over really quick. Let me do that first. So uh, when I transfer him, it doesn't transfer him broke. So let's see. Where are we going to the bank? We're going to transfer. We're going from um, the checking to household funds. And he got 15000 So let's transfer 7500 So let's just do half. Submit. Ew. Ew. It's like some groovy music. All right, so yeah. So we transferred 75. All right, so now let's get to moving. As soon as he done with his cigarette though, of course. Like, we, we can't rush him now. Let me see what else everybody else doing. All right, sis just in here chilling. You know, go ahead and pack up y'all sleeping bags. Put that in your inventory. Put this in your inventory. I can't put this in my inventory, so we'll bring it to you later. But y'all get y'all sleeping bags up off the floor. <laughs> put this in your inventory. <laughs> Take all that with y'all. Yeah. Daryl about to be at home by himself a lot because Prince is staying with his grandma <laughs> probably for a while. <laughs> so... Daryl, he probably just invite his crazy girlfriend over. So I'm gonna transfer his 7,500. Oops, child, wait, not 75, not 75, I don't know. All right, there we go. All right, and let's see. Oh, they're, we're gone. We're gone, y'all, bye. Let's find their apartment, darling. Okay, so we want this one. Can we afford it though? Length seven days. I need it longer than that. Okay, we'll just do seven days for now. <laughs> All right, that's where we're moving. Daily rent, $200. Y'all proud. What? I can't afford excuse me y'all want the money up front excuse me like who does that girl i'm about to attack y'all right now what are you saying to me you need fifty one thousand dollars. <laughs> we might as well buy a damn house excuse my language this is impossible impossible things are happening Yay, we're in our apartment. Won't he do it? Look at God. <laughs> don't ask, don't tell. Moving forward. All right, so we're in our apartment. How about that? All right, I just had to do some, you know, some trickery, but it is what it is. But anyway, this is our apartment. Would you guys like to see around very quickly? It's very simple. It's not much to it. Um, but it's cute. I built it myself. Look at me. Yay. So anyway, here is the kitchen. Here's the kitchen. Um, our little back patio back here. Um, sorry. We're in other people's apartment. My bad. Sorry. Um, here is a bathroom. Okay. I didn't do a whole bunch of like super big decorating with this one. I just kind of, you know, put a few things together because I didn't want it to be like super duper fancy. You know what I'm saying? Like it's simple. It's still bachelor paddish because that's how he is. And um, yeah, so it's what it is. All right. So upstairs here, let me see where am I? Okay. All right. So when you come up the stairs, there is a door over here. Why did I go down? Okay door over here this is the master you don't have no furniture like talking about it <laughs> oops <laughs> he got his stuff in there you know he has to be prepared okay um here is um the master bedroom i mean bathroom and of course i'm going to you know fix it up to make it look a little bit more um them all right the sis bedroom 
and then bro back room is right here yep so yeah i'm gonna fix it up and add them some you know like um rugs and posters and stuff it'll let if it'll let me child that's the only thing with like new packs is you have to learn everything and i just haven't learned everything about for rent so i don't know what i can and can't do especially as the tenant i play very briefly with ownership but i haven't played as a tenant so this will be new to me so anyway home we got our car here already look at there look at there look at there all right so let's come on in the house let's get situated okay see what anybody needs anything honk like yeah this will do this will do at least i got my own room i got my own space let's turn the heat on though it's cold in this hey y'all have y'all ever thought about like when you say something it's cold as hell that hail from the sky is cold and then when you say hot as hell you mean it like hail fire hell i don't know i saw that somewhere and i went oh wow am i dumb or is this like new <laughs> all right so uncle is, is is getting settled in his new place i love it we gonna have a little picnic or something out here and do some cooking on the grill or something and um Maybe he can put him up a tree or something right here. This is awesomeness. All right, so uncle is situated. So now we are gonna go back to grandma's house and she's gonna give Prince his little loan so he can go ahead and purchase his little cart, okay? All right, y'all, we are back at grandma's house. Grandma and Prince is sitting here getting some quality time watching a movie together. So I'm gonna get grandma to go ahead and transfer, um, some money to Prince so that he can go ahead and get his little food cart. And he's like, yes. But Prince is feeling better since he's with his grandma, obviously. But he does have this growing out of control. Prince found out his hair follicles have gone through a growth spurt. If he doesn't get it under control, his hair is going to become a battleground of tangled matted hair. Wow. Puberty. <laughs> Prince has gotten his first taste of puberty. Things will only continue to change from here. Prince can try to manage the puberty changes with shaving to avoid out of control body hair and skincare routine to help mitigate the inevitable acne. So, yeah. <laughs> Prince, you're growing up, my guy. You're growing up and I'm not ready, okay? I'm not ready. All right, so let me get grandma. Grandma is gonna make a little transfer. Let's see, from her savings account to um, Prince, okay. And we're gonna transfer to Prince Teen, his household, fund, his main account, because we don't want his dad to know that we're giving him this money, okay. So um, the amount, I didn't even check, y'all, how much the food cart costs. Why am I so raggedy? I wonder if I can Google it. This will only take like point nothing seconds for y'all, but it'll probably take me five minutes. Be right back. My research is done. Okay, so basically the stand is like 585, the pizza maker is like 685, I think, and then a waffle maker is 285. So we're looking at 1500, a little, a little bit more than $1,500. Um, so I'm going to give, get her to give him $2,000 so that he can buy his equipment and his food and supplies, and then he will pay her back, you know, as he makes his money. And, um, he's saving so that he's not really telling anybody, but he's going to save some money because he wants to take a trip to find his mom. And he's going to need, you know, hotel stay and things like that. So, yeah. But we're going to pay grandma back. So, we're going to do $2,000. We're going to submit this transfer. And we're going to groove. Yeah. That's how we do in the late night. Okay, sorry. I'm getting into my DJ mood. Anyway. um, Done. All right, so let me check Prince's account just to make sure that the money did come over. Um, main checking account, balance, yeah. 
$2,060 because he only had $60. <laughs> so good job and getting what you want, Prince. All right. So grandma is so sweet, y'all. Like she's so sweet. She's like, that's my baby. I have to do it for him. So anyway, so he's gonna, um, you know, tell her thank you. And I don't know if I can just absolutely say that because I don't think there's really an interaction to, you know, say thank you for something like that, unfortunately. So I'm just going to let him hug her lovingly. She had a baby, had a baby, had a baby, had a baby, had a baby. Y'all been getting down, huh? All right, Prince, give grandma a hug. And we're going to go home really quick and get our items. And put them in our inventory and then we coming back <laughs> we coming back because we ain't staying at home we mad at our dad grandma gonna have to help us with that too he's like you the best yeah. you the best <laughs> grandma she's like i know i know ain't no grandma like me <laughs> and he's like grandma i really appreciate this and she's like so what are you gonna do with your money darling he's like uh I don't know, maybe save it for a car. He lying. <laughs> who these who these people knocking on the door? Um, not my cousin coming over here bringing all these chicks. What is what's tea? What's what housewarming party? Y'all grandma been living here for years. Get gone now. Y'all ain't finna come up in here tearing up grandma stuff. We ain't even open it up. We having a moment. We're having a moment. And all of y'all tea there. Why, why is it all teenagers? Like, who does that? Oh, no, nah, here comes stalker chick. Get delusional, get delusional. Daddy's girlfriend that didn't want to talk to grandma at the, at the Harvest Fest party. I'm not opening the door. Matter of fact, let me lock it. Because, you know, they, they'll they run up in here in a minute. Let's see. Everyone. Because they've been, you know, came in being disrespectful. Me, me and grandma are having a moment. You make my day so much better. Thanks for making me smile. Oh. Yes, he likes jokes. Y'all, I'm so proud of Prince. So cute. All right, so we're going to actually leave. Grandma, if you want to let them in, it's up to you. But we're going to go home. And um, what you mean we can't go home? This housewarming party is not going to hold me hostage, okay? Y'all go home. Maybe next. Yes, right. Maybe next time. All right, boo. All right, now. Y'all have a good one. See you later. Call call ahead next time. We ain't just move here. What's wrong with them? All right. So Prince is gonna go home. I'm gonna send him home, and I'm gonna release him from my <laughs> from my grip. <laughs> All right. Bye, boo. See you at home. All right. We're gonna go to Prince's house, and I'm gonna buy his stuff, and then make sure he has everything he needs. Okay. All right. See y'all in a minute. We are home. Um, okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and get what Prince needs to set up his little shop, y'all. So we're gonna go into buy mode real quick and get everything he needs. And yeah, he'll be ready to start making some money. And he has the next few days off, which is really good. So that way he can um, have, you know, a lot of the day to um, work and save up his money. Because he wants to go see his mom. He has to keep asking questions. So I'm going to have him, like, go back and hound his grandma a little bit more about, you know, where his mom is, where she could be, blah, blah, blah. <clears throat> All right. So here's our little stand. Um, what color should we get? Um, I kind of like this one. It looks like real professional. This looks real healthy. And we're going to be making pizza and waffles. So <laughs> we're not going to be healthy. Let's just do that one. All right. And let's get our waffle maker. I mean, our pizza maker. What color we want? Let's just get black so it matches. And then our waffle maker. We're going to get it black too to match. All right, so now I need to place the money back in the account before dad finds out. So 
let me do that so we got our stuff yay all right let's put this in our inventory put this in our inventory and then we'll put our stand in our inventory and then we're going to transfer the money so she gave prince a little cushion which is sweet all right put that in your inventory too because we don't want dad to know do that all right and then i'm gonna go back in here in the bank real quick and transfer um some of his money okay so from main account to household funds in the amount of 1550 i believe it was submit and and we gonna groove again for the old folks in the back okay mm, mm, with the two-step ow all right close why well, i said for the old people that's so rude but it do sound like a like a you know like a two-stepper you know i can i can just see you know some some you know never mind <laughs> moving forward um okay so i got everything set up for his thing all right so so actually i'm gonna end the episode here because i have done a lot and i've been on here for a long 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 time okay so we got uncle moved out we got prince with his new little setup to make his little monies all right so he can save so he can go on this little trip that he wants to take to go find his mom and um we got uncle working for auntie now so i accomplished everything i needed and we got our money from my grandma who is so sweet and we'll be sure to pay her back as soon as possible um matter of fact whenever he does his first run um depending on how much money he makes i'm gonna you know transfer back to grandma even though you know grandmas are like you don't have to pay me back and he's like yes i do grandma he wants to be responsible he's such a sweet one so anyway y'all i hope y'all enjoyed this episode we got a lot done and we got so much more to accomplish so on the next episode we will get him a spot so he can sell his food and we will work on him taking a trip to go see his mom or go find his mom in the meantime like i said i'm gonna have him talk to his grandma some more ask some questions he needs to find where she is right i know where she is because i dropped the heifer in in one of those towns i'm not gonna tell y'all so anyway <laughs> but i know where the heifer is just know that so anyway um thank y'all so much for watching if you have made it this far i appreciate y'all so very much um again make sure you subscribe we're on the road to 500 and leave me a comment let me know um how you enjoyed the episode and let me know um what do you think is going to happen when prince actually gets to see his mom because i'm very anxious about it very very anxious about it so yeah i'm gonna end this episode with some cute little pictures of prince and his mom when he was a baby for y'all and i will see y'all in the next episode bye pyts